Matty McLean is leaving breakfast. Did you know that? He's he's kind of oh, said really? he's moving. Yeah, he's leaving. I'm pretty sure he's going to radio. Now, as is often happens with uh, profile people. Now, I don't want to say this in a, a, a kind of derogatory way, but you know, people kind of get themselves a backbone once they're moving on. Um, I, I, that sounds really, really disparaging. I don't mean it to be, but it was very interesting to see Maddie uh, this morning, basically, as far as I know, be the first media personality, the first interviewer. I might, I might be wrong. There might be others out there, but you don't see me actually calling out Winston for lying and asking Christopher Bishop, why is he supporting a lie? So it was actually really good. It was really good. So I'm not, I'm not disparaging, but you do sometimes think when people are leaving, it's like, oh, I don't have to, I don't have to make friends anymore. Fuck it. Let's just do it. Uh, so either, but either way, it's a, um, it was a pretty, pretty good interaction from Maddie this morning. And um, one thing I'll point out to you, and I'll, and I'll bring this back in time and time and time again. Chewie, have you noticed that people from the National Party have stopped saying strong and stable? <laughs> Is that gone? No, seriously, it's gone. I haven't heard strong and stable for a very, very, very long time. And gone like you, the ram raids. you certainly don't hear it from the bish in this conversation. Let's jump into it. What on earth is Winston Peters up to, Chris? Well, Winston's Winston, mate. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think there's going to be uh, it's going to be an interesting three years. Um, and but the key point is we've got a coalition government uh, ready to go. We've got three different parties. First time in MMP history. We've got three parties inside uh, cabinet. And they've got different distinct personalities. The ACT Party is different to National, National is different to New Zealand First, and, and so on. And so they've got three different leaders. But they're all- I kind of, I, I would normally cut in here and go, what a load of bullshit. Why are you being so weak? But honestly, Maddie does it. We're yep. on the cabinet and we're united as a team. Although, Kieran, when the Deputy Prime Minister is accusing the media of taking bribes, when do you have to stop saying Winston's just being Winston? Yeah, that's a weak response. Um, pretty poor really from uh, Chris and Christopher Luxon. The fact of the matter is that the Deputy Prime Minister is telling you guys in the studio that you're corrupt and he's telling the whole country that you're corrupt and I don't think that's good enough and the Prime Minister should pull him up on it. And yesterday when he had the opportunity at PostCab, he said he can say whatever he likes and Winston would have been rubbing his hands together because now he's got the longest leash he's ever had in 40 years in Parliament. And I think exactly. it's a shocker. Chris, should the Prime Minister have been stronger? Does this set Winston up to do just whatever he wants for the next three years? Well, Kieran was in, uh, in a government, or at least a member of a government with um, Winston Peters. So, you know. Yeah, and they learned, which is why they ruled him out very, 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 very early on. Uh, look, um, the, the reality is he was expressing the views that a lot of people think, actually, which is that the Public Interest Journalism Fund. Um, Talking point. A lot of people think, mm-hmm. and this is where Maddie yep. actually does the one thing that every every interviewer should have done so far. Didn't didn't work that well, actually. But it it's, not, it's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie, Chris. Mm-hmm. And that is the job of you as the government to clear up, because otherwise it just plays into that perception and f- adds fuel to the fire. Close your mouth, Bishop. The Close your Prime mouth. Minister just echoing the ramblings of some conspiratorial lunatics on Twitter. A lot. You see, yeah, like golf clap, absolutely. Do you see what I'm saying? Like that, it, mm. that should be the response by everybody. I know, like, I really don't want to sound disparaging, but I do wonder if he's, you know, throwing caution to the wind because he, he's got no consequences from here on in. But anyway, we'll keep oh, going. I think so. A lot of people think that the Public Interest Journalism Fund led to um, perceptions of perceptions so, around the media. So and that, that's the reality. So clarify it, Chris. Yeah, well, look, he, he's entitled to say what he thinks. Do uh, you believe it? Prime. Do you believe that the media were taking bribes? Do I believe what? That the media were, were bribed? No, yes. but, I, but I believe the fund. I, no, I don't. But I believe the fund, um, the, <laughs> the setup of the fund and the way it worked uh, has led to allegations like that and perceptions. And a lot of people think that. And that's actually a problem for our democracy. Can't that that people... Part of being a politician is actually showing some leadership. And if you know something's a lie and you know someone should have said it, then come out and say, this isn't true and it shouldn't have been said and the issue would be dealt with and we can move on. Instead, they're tiptoeing around Winston because he's already had the measure of them in negotiations and he's licking (laughs) his lips. Well, it's true. You've got the ACT Party who wants to spend less and New Zealand First who want to spend more and the National Party who's given it to both of them. This has been a shocker of a start 
and Winston's only making it worse. Oh, I reckon I reckon people are pretty confident about our program. We're going to get more done in the first 100 days than the last lot got done in six years. Sorry. It is pretty interesting to hear absolute talking points exactly the same as Christopher Luxon yeah, yeah. and Nicola Lewis and now the Bish. Like, like the same, lots of people. And, and look, Maddie did really well. Like, like, kudos due to Maddie. But, you know, the one thing he, he didn't do, which he could have gone even harder with, is when... The bish said, "No, or no, I don't think I don't think it's a bribe." To then go, well, why aren't you saying that as your first answer, rather than saying Winston yeah. being Winston? Why aren't you saying when it comes up, well, Winston's not telling the truth, Winston's lying, yeah. Winston's not. I don't agree with Winston. I don't agree that that's the case. None of them are saying that until they get asked directly. They're all saying, "Ah, Winston being Winston." Joey, I, I I do want to say a couple of things here, and I, I know we're real proud of Maddie for realizing what he can do here. Um, he did leave an opportunity on the table there, and I want to point that out. That at no point in this interview did he say "Bish, please." Yeah, Bish, it was, please. It, 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 it was there. Um, I also want to point out um, Chris Bishop's absolutely genuine and human laugh. Uh, <laughs> that that was good. That was good. Um, and I also want to point out how magnanimous he is about the idea of actually this is the first time that we've had three parties forming a government. Isn't that amazing? Considering Whereas it was such a bad idea. idea yeah. Three parties forming a government was going to be an absolute chaotic nightmare that we'd all regret and the gates of hell would open and um, we'd be boiling white people alive <laughs> in the streets. That must um, be it. So, gates of, gates of so, hell have opened and that's where Winston's come from. You've got it in one. It, it's, it's just real strange. You know that he's that he's proud of it now, but yes, we're absolutely right at picking out the fact that these guys are reading from a choir sheet. This is this is yep. a PR people have got some some people together and go, okay, we need to hit this note that Winston can say what he likes because Winston's always done this. And pointing out the fact that well, you were in a government with Winston. The answer to that is yes, and he didn't pull any of this shit. Yeah, true, he, he, true. Nothing at this level, nothing. This unhinged. Yeah. He's a fucking foreign minister. And like, I don't remember, well, I'm sure there is because there's a lot of shit that Winston does, but I don't remember anything that fucking out of pocket out of Winston when he was part of the Labour government. I just, yeah. I just don't, don't see it. Yeah, and also, I mean, like, you know, I use that. I haven't actually, this is one of probably going to come out over the weekend. I make clips every day, but I make more clips than I want to use. Like if I make, I made, I made 23 clips on Tuesday morning after Monday's show. Like I made three big long clips. I made 13 Twitter clips and I made four clips for TikTok. Um, so 13 clips is too much to put onto Twitter in one day. So I kind of put four or five and then I put four, I spread them through the and and there's one, then I spread some through the weekend that aren't maybe aren't quite so um time uh specific. And I'm gonna share the one over the weekend when I talked about my dad and starting to kind of lose a little bit of his mm. um, you know, lose a bit of his marbles on the way. Because I could also you could also make the argument that if uh Winston's mental capacity isn't quite what it was when they were in, that could be a reason as well. You know, maybe, maybe he's deteriorating. And that's, I'm, I'm not actually taking the piss. Everyone does as they get older. You know, everyone does. And maybe oh, his um, his cognitive decline uh, is not perhaps what it was when Labour was in. So it's another reason that he didn't do it. And I, as I said earlier, and Labour went, yeah, yeah, we were in government with him. We'll never do it again. And so National went, well, we will. Yeah, well, good luck. You asked yep. for it. You got yep. it. They brought, they brought this on themselves. And, and look, in, in all honesty... I don't think, like, if they kept that door shut to Winston, I don't think we'd be looking at a different election result. I think it'd be national and act and no fucking crazy granddad. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think that too. Like I think I think it would, it, it, it would have been close, but I still think that national would have won it. So all of the stuff that's coming from Winston, it, it's all down to Christopher Luxon being really bad at this. He was really bad at this to the point that he left the door open for Winston. He's really bad to this to the degree that he's just letting him run roughshod over um, the start of his government. And I'm sure that Winston fucking dog walked him during the negotiations. Yep. Because yep. Christopher Luxon is bad at being a politician. Yep, and I and I guess now to go the other way and give Winston kudos where kudos is due. Winston's very good at being a politician. 
if he's got one yeah. skill, it's that being a politician is is right up there. Not a particularly um, good human being or, or functional human being, but an excellent politician.